So what are the odds? So let's say you want to become a millionaire. How do you do it? So a lot of people play the lottery, so let's talk about that. So if you think you're going to hit a jackpot, your odds are approximately 1 in 292 million if it's uh, the Powerball, or 1 in 302 million for the Mega Millions. If you're looking to get a million dollars in the Powerball, your odds are 1 in 11.7 million. Uh, it's pretty much not going to happen. And the big thing is people that actually get money through like lottery winnings are actually bankrupt within five years. If you don't know how to manage your money and you get a lot of money and you gamble money and that's how you got the money in the first place, eh, you're probably likely going to gamble it away or people are just going to come out of the woodwork and ask you for money and invest in their random businesses. If you've never had financial education, such as what this channel covers, that's the reason why even if they hit a half a billion or a billion dollars, they're bankrupt in about five years or so. If people go to the casino, some of the best odds are blackjack. Even with blackjack though, the odds of winning are less than 50%. That's why the casino is in business. The nice casino that you're walking into, they get all your money from effectively you. So they're gonna take pretty much uh, 505 to 51.5% and then you're left with that 48.5 to 49.5% odds of winning, depending on your strategy. But either way, it's always in the favor of the casino. If somebody wants to start a business, the odds of winning in a business, so according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, about 80% of businesses will stay open for the first two years. Uh, that drops to 55% are still open at five years goes down to 45% are still open at 10 years, 25% stay open uh, beyond 15 years. Only about 40 to 65% of businesses actually make profit, and 5% of businesses make a million dollars or more per year. Investing I like a lot more than starting a business, just because if I invest in businesses that are already showing that they are profitable and they've gone through the first couple of years of the challenges of staying open, I might look at the 500 biggest companies in the United States, and if I do that, they've returned 10.7% annualized rate of return over the last 30 years. Anybody that invested in those companies over the past 30 years, those accounts tracking the S&P 500 have effectively grown at that average rate of return. So if somebody were contributing at least that $460 per month they would have at least a million dollars today if they started 30 years ago. Now just note that investments can lose value, prior returns do not guarantee future performance. But if we look at that, I know of several people that were spending almost $20 a day on lottery tickets. They were also going to the casinos. So their spouse, since they passed away, their, their spouse is left with absolutely no savings, there's no money in the accounts. They live effectively off of pension and social security. They can't really do anything. Since that person was spending $20 a day on lottery tickets, if they would have done that, and they did a lot for more than 30 years, they did it probably closer to like 50 years, they would have multiple millions of dollars when they retired in their early 60s. And if they didn't have cancer, they would have had millions and millions of dollars in their 60s that they could have done pretty much whatever they wanted with. But being that they spent most of the money on basically lottery tickets and casinos, uh, their loved ones have nothing. If you want to become more financially educated, you want to learn how to make more money, how to invest, how to save money, and how to save on taxes effectively. Subscribe, I'll cover all those topics. Thank you for watching, good luck to you, and have a great day.